Dear colleagues, I would like to present the results of my investigation entitled On Marking and Peace by Exclusive Only in Early English Books Online Corpus, Syntactic and Information Structural Considerations. Arab Only is classified as a focusing exclusive. Our previous research on Middle English exclusives shows that the positional variations of Middle English adverb only, taking into consideration the word it modifies, correlate with sentence information structure and foci types. The data show that a post-modifying position of the adverb dominates, which is particularly evident with NPs. In contrast to this, the collocate search in British National Corpus reveals that only in the position before the NP uh, occurs more frequently than when the adverb is placed in a post-modifying position. The same is true for corpus of contemporary American English. These figures trigger the question in what period this transition in the adverb placement occurs and how it is connected with information structure of the sentence in further periods of English evolution, that is early Middle English. The current study attempts to investigate adverbs uh, when marking NPs in the corpus of early English books online. Since the occurrence of only in NPs throughout the corpus reaches more than 50,000 instances in total, it is proposed to confine in this paper to the time frame of 1470s to 1590s and analyze around 4,000 instances. The patterns under investigation fall into three types presented on the slide. The research also takes into account a sentence word order as one of the factors that strongly correlate with information structure of the sentence as well as peculiarities of MPs in order to differentiate only functioning as an adverb and as an adjective, particularly in only plus noun pattern. Early modern English syntax seems more rigid compared to the previous centuries on account of the gradual loss of uh, inflectional system typical of the earliest stages of the English language development. Certain very important syntactic features in this period relevant to the current investigation are outlined uh, on the slide and I'll recap the most essential. The first one, SVO pattern emerges as the normal word order in affirmative sentences. The gradual decline of verb second in sentences in the 15th century English. Fronting of objects is frequently used uh, to make the text coherent. The inversion proportion in comparison with the previous periods has decreased, although not dramatically. Constituents of the NP structure in early modern English are more or less the same as in modern English. The patterns with adverb only retrieved from the corpus, which has lemmatization and part of speech tagging, thus simplifying the search process. To search the required patterns, we have used search for collocates presented in Figure 1. After automated search, all the examples with NPs containing the adverb are analyzed manually based on the sem semantic criteria to see whether only functions as an adjective or a as an exclusive adverb. Instances with only functioning as an adverb uh, are further analyzed with relation to information structure of the sentence and the examples are tested on the basis of two oppositions, given versus new information with further analysis of sentence topic and fo focus. The investigation of givenness presupposes building a file that contains discourse reference. Thus, we check if the NP initiates the presence of a new DR or not. Under the present study, information can be tagged as given if the antecedents lie within a 13 sentence window. To illustrate how givenness is annotated, we turn to discourse representation theory. Thus, a certain mental representation 
uh, specifically a discourse representation structure is built uh, by the reader and the discourse as the discourse progresses. It involves two aspects, a universal discourse reference and a range of discourse representation structural criteria that fa facilitate information encoding. Figures 2-4 illustrate box notation of discourse reference and the merging operation in the discourse. The new discourse representation structure, as in figure four, comprises a universe as a union of universes of two discourse representation structures merged. Each discourse referent is assigned a tag, and tags that emerge as a result of annotation are given in table one. The information statues of various linguistic expressions can also be identified in the context of topicality and focality. In the current study, a topic is defined in pragmatic terms. Focus presents the salient information in the sentence. And in this study, we single out informational, identificational, emphatic, exhaustive, contrastive, and parenthoke. Table two summarizes the tags applied to the analysis, uh, the second type of dichotomy, that is topic versus focus. Each pattern retrieved from the corpus was separately analyzed based on the methodology highlighted. Model only plus known is presented by more than 2000 tokens and despite high frequency of this model, the analysis reveals that only when pre-modifying NPs predominantly functions as an adjective. Its functioning as an exclusive adverb is limited to 17% of instances. Over, the overall analysis of patterns indicates that uh, adverb only in the in pre-modifying position, uh, so where, uh, sorry, when adverb only is in a pre-modifying position, the NP it marks represents more frequently emphatic or contrastive focus. Less common foci types uh, registered for this model are exhaustive, identificational and informational ones. The notable characteristic of only plus noun model is that the adverb preceding a noun is predominantly registered when the NP functions as the sentence subject. The examples where it functions as the object in, of the sentence are more rarely observed due to the fact that only in these instances is frequently interpreted as the adjective in NPs. So figure nine uh, summarizes types of information structure marked by only in NPs, as well as various foci types taking syntax into account. The OVS word order, though being registered with almost 6% of instances, is rather controversial in terms of the analysis. Thus, the inverted word order implies that the NP with only is emphasized, therefore, uh, the noun can be tagged as emphatic focus, however, the presence of negate uh, not part relates the structure to contrastive focus. Comparing the information structure of uh, the sentences with contrastive focus that have different word orders, it was noticed that with SVO order, verb renders discourse new information, whilst in OVS pattern, it presents discourse given and activated information, which can explain the inverted word order from the information structural perspective. The contextual analysis of tokens after the automated search shows that in 90.6% of instances, only plus preposition is followed by the NPs, while the rest of the examples are eliminated due to the fact that the noun position is occupied by the verb. Figure 6 shows the frequency of various foci types and their informational st status in the discourse. Model only plus preposition plus noun is all often employed when NPs render new information and informational focus, which is its distinguishing feature compared with the previous pattern. Instances of noun plus only in the corpus amount to 1,860 tokens. When marking a 
sentence subject, adverb only highlights and piece that uh, render given active information and emphatic focus in 73.7% of instances. Examples of given active information, uh, contrastive focus are represented by almost 18%. The most common NPs with the adverb in a post-modifying position represent given active information and either identificational or contrastive focus registered in almost 56 and 28 of instances, percent of instances, respectively. So figure seven presents the overall distribution of patterns where the adverbial marks and piece function in either, either as the subject or the object of the sentence. The study of less frequent word order patterns where post-modifying only is registered as a part of NPs indicates that uh, the NPs regularly represent given inactive information and mostly contrastive or emphatic one. Uh, the focus. Uh, the investigation of tokens with exclusive only as a part of NPs shows that its placing after the noun is more preferable. We may assume that this deliberate positioning allows the adversary to avoid ambiguous reading of only. Still, 31% of instances with only preceding the noun object indicate that it demonstrates a tendency to pre-modify the noun in early modern English, which syntax is more rigid in terms of word order. It is also notable that with the NP functioning as the subject of the sentence, only is more likely to be found when it pre-modifies the noun. We assume that this pattern might have triggered the dominant placement uh, of the adverb before the noun, functioning as the object of the sentence in further centuries. Analyzing different word orders registered with the adverb as a part of the NP, it was observed that different foci types correlate with various sentence components as far as the most widespread SVO pattern is concerned. Thus, it is more preferable to allocate NPs with only in the subject position while marking emphatic and contrastive foci. NPs representing a sentence object are more characteristic when they highlight identificational focus for models noun plus only and informational focus for models only plus noun plus preposition. The investigation of minor word orders shows that the verb regularly represents given information, while NPs with only, though conveying given activated information, might mark either contrastive or emphatic focus and facilitate the inverted word order in the sentence. Thank you for your attention.